Welcome to the Pacific Crest Trail. You are joining me at mile 1,153 out of 2,650 of my southbound PCT through hike. In the last episode, you joined me in Ashland, Oregon, where I planned and sent out my resupply for the Northern California, or NorCal, section and then hiked across the Oregon-California border. In this episode, you are joining me as I continue hiking through the breathtaking wilderness of NorCal. I make new friends, spot some wildlife, and head into the town of Etna to resupply. Together, you and I will hike 155 miles over the next eight days through some of the most spectacular landscapes. If you're new here, my name is Krista, and I'm a long-distance hiker. And if you're not new here, hi and welcome back. It's day 51 on the Pacific Crest Trail. So this morning I hung out because I knew the mail didn't get here till noon. Came over here to the Side Valley store slash cafe. I had a vegan chicken burger and fries and root beer. It was so good. And then my package arrived at like one. So it's 2 p.m. now. So originally I was gonna do a full day of hiking today, but I'm definitely not. I'll do a half. I'll do like five to ten miles probably today. I've now hiked six miles. Probably do another seven miles tonight and then um, camp with my trail friend that I met. So I was actually hiking with her for the last couple hours. Good morning. I woke up here and I'm gonna try to do 27 miles today. So basically I need to climb up for like six miles, just uphill. Then I'll be in the Alpine, I'm so excited. But I camped with three other women last night, one through hiker, two section hikers, time to go. made it to the top of a part of the climb so I'm not sure how much higher I have to climb I didn't check but it's nice to have a little downhill off in the distance I can see two fires burning um, I heard that they aren't impacting the trail so that's good and they look small which is also good had some lunch right here by this beautiful alpine lake. I am loving California so far. It is so beautiful. I really didn't know what to expect and it's amazing. So I'm pretty darn excited because I'm going to be up in the alpine for a while. You watch the world from the place beneath the wind. Wow, so beautiful. Wow. I'm cozying my tent now. That was a spectacular day of hiking. The stars are amazing here. So I've just written in my map and I'm going to edit my video and go to bed. Tomorrow I'm going to hike out to where there's a trailhead and I'm going to be picked up by a trail angel taken into Etna. Okay, good night. Good morning. It's about 7.20 a.m. I want to get going by 8 a.m. So I'm just starting my whole pack up routine. Got to put my sunscreen on and do my hair, braids and all that. Here's my view. Here I go. I've been going for like 10 minutes and it's already <laughs> quite hot. Oh, I'm loving the sun in California so far. Yeah, my body's feeling good. I don't think I've mentioned my knee in a while. I didn't for a while because I didn't want to sound like a broken record. <laughs> but now I haven't mentioned it because it hasn't been bothering me at all. Touch wood.
One of the things I was most nervous about prior to starting the PCT was how I would catch rides into town to resupply, especially since I was hiking alone. I started to realize that organizing rides with fellow trail friends was a really good way to do it. I made friends with another Sobo just outside of Ashland and her and I seemed to be on a pretty similar schedule. We organized a ride together and both arrived at the pickup location a couple hours early. It was a super hot day and the only shade we could find was beside the forest service truck, so we hung out here together. We met up with another trail friend in town for dinner and then got some rest. The next morning I got my package and then had a big pizza for lunch before all three of us got a ride back to the trail from a trail angel. 2.30 p.m. back to trail now. I am feeling tired. This is always my absolute favorite moment when I start breaking into the alpine. I just love it up here. <laughs> this is spectacular. I'm having a moment right now where I just feel so incredibly grateful to be out here. Camp set up. I'm by this absolutely beautiful lake and it feels good. I've only hiked like four and a half miles today, but that's okay. I'm gonna do four days for the rest of this stretch. So it's all good. A little bit of smoke blowing over here. I think it's probably from pre-existing fires. day 54 today I'm fairly certain okay so this is what I normally do I normally rack my brain what day is it don't remember with absolute certainty so then I get my phone and I double check because I keep quite the extensive journal on my phone I scroll all the way down so it's September 15th day 54 and I started from Etna Summit trailhead. So then I usually circle where I camp. So this is going to be camp. What day did I say it was? 54. 54. I also saw an eagle fishing. I heard a big splash. It dove down, I guess feet down to grab a fish. There's fish jumping in the lake. So I have 93 miles to go in four days divided by four, so I have to go 23 miles a day. Six thirty a.m. Last night was quite a rough night. There's a group on the other side of the lake that I couldn't really hear when I first got there, but they got rowdy. Music playing, yelling, screaming. So I didn't get the best sleep. Eventually I fell asleep around 10.30, even though I got into bed at 8. And I definitely feel tired right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna hike deeper into the trail and that'll be nice. I'm definitely struggling a bit this morning because I'm tired. I just had my first major cut. I was climbing over a log tree, fallen tree, 
and I grabbed onto a stick to like bal help balance and it snapped off and I went flying <laughs> off the log. I managed to land on my feet, but my right middle finger knuckle got a good cut. <laughs> anyway, so I'm kind of struggling a little bit, I would say, like I'm feeling a bit discombobulated. I would probably best describe it. Oh. Oh God. And I'm on a hill. <laughs> if, I, if my stuff rolls, it'll roll way out of reach. Oh yeah, I'm holding my, <laughs> I'm holding my lifesaver. <laughs> Cause I'm about to eat it. <laughs> I guess I'll pack up now. Then I'm done all my bandaging and hit the road. I'm definitely noticing the smoke. It's lower in the valley. I'm up kind of above it for the most part but I definitely noticed it in my sinuses. I was pretty stuffed up all night, so. Anyway, I better get going. Thunderstorm is starting. Big dark cloud and just heard thunder. So I'm climbing up back into the alpine as a thunderstorm is rolling in so hoping it's okay I'm just gonna keep moving really cool little white fungus or something that's growing on all these burnt trees it almost looks like stars in the night sky Okay, I did it, I made it to camp. I decided to only hike 23 miles today because I was not feeling good. I was feeling shaky and tired and I was tripping a lot more than normal. So I was gonna try to do 25 miles today, but there was this little tent spot right beside a small stream, so at 23 miles, so I camped here. I am, I would say, in a low point right now it's feeling hard to camp alone every night it's feeling really hard i am struggling a little bit a lot actually i'm struggling a lot <laughs> i'm gonna sleep on it and i'll probably message with brian and tell him how i'm feeling and then new day tomorrow i'll see you then good morning Woke up at around 5.30 a.m. I had a way better sleep last night. All I could hear was an owl going, ooh, 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 for a lot of the night, actually, um, and the stream. So I ended up having a deep sleep, I think. My goal is going to be to do about 25 miles today. Okay, time to pack up. I got going at 7.15. I'm feeling way better this morning than yesterday morning. Oh, so I think I'll be able to do 25 miles today. I can usually do that in 12 to 13 hours. So I should be done at like seven or 8 p.m. <laughs> can't believe it, it's mid-September and some of these flowers are still blooming. Incredible, and these rock formations. Wow. Look at that beautiful trail. <laughs> PCT is spectacular. Look at this trail building, cut into the rock. <laughs> Unbelievable.
I've heard from fellow hikers that these are carnivorous plants. I'm doing well. I've hiked 25 miles today, two to go, and I'm trying to get to this camp spot that has a view of Mount Shasta. I've bunched up with two other hikers now. We're, I ran into them often today, so I'm feeling less alone out here. Maybe I'm over my lull. I don't know. We'll see. The sky just feels so big here and just so incredible. It's about 8.45 p.m. It's already super dark, so the days are getting shorter for sure. <laughs> Okay, I'm cozy in my tent now, so it's time for bed. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It's probably about 7, 7.30 a.m. I'm gonna finish packing up my stuff and get going. And I'm gonna try to do 25 miles today to get to another spot similar to this, sort of on a ridge with a view of Mount Shasta. Somebody wrote that there was a view of Mount Shasta from this one, but I don't see it anywhere. So hopefully we get a view tonight. Got my bear can in the top there. Beautiful sky behind me. And it's time to get going. 25 miles, let's go. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Hiking's going well so far. I'm feeling good. Probably done about, I don't know, eight miles or so. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know. Here's Mount Shasta. If I let me figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. I'm on my final five miles of the day. The trail's been beautiful today. Through hiking, like life, is a series of highs and lows. When I'm in a low point, like when I didn't sleep much camped near a party, what often helps me get through is that I know there will be more moments like this one. I'm here for the full experience, and it's not always fun or easy or beautiful, but it always feels worth it to me. Good morning. It is an absolutely beautiful morning out here. I camped beside one of my trail friends last night. So that was awesome. And I got going at seven. I think I have about 18 or 19 miles to get into Castella and I'll be resupplying there. I'm not gonna take a zero. So I'm just gonna go into town, get my stuff and then head out early tomorrow morning again. Couldn't believe how stunning everything was, sunset, the stars last night, sunrise, spectacular. I hiked down through Castle Crags Wilderness to get to my resupply package near Castle Crags Campground. I decided to stay the night there at the PCT campsite so that I could hit the trail again the next morning. In the next episode, episode 11, I catch up with you the next morning from the campground and venture back out onto the PCT.